on December the 8th, 1941, on the Feast of the Immaculate Conception, the United States declares war on Japan. On April 2nd, 1942, the Rotunda Church in Malta is attacked by the Germans, and three bombs, you can see the size, they're very large, were dropped on the dome during Mass. Two of them bounced off the dome. This third one drops right in the center and lands on the floor and does not go off. It was a miracle. Again, it was the church dedicated to the Assumption of Mary. On August 31st, 1942, Sister Lucia has another apparition from the Blessed Mother. Again, warning, there must be a consecration of the world to my Immaculate Heart. And a feast is to be honored to the Immaculate Heart on August the 22nd, 1944. That is exactly eight days from the Assumption of August the 15th. On August 6, 1945, at 8.15 a.m., immediately after Mass of the Feast of the Transfiguration, we have the dropping of Little Boy on Hiroshima, Japan. Again, the church that was hit was the Assumption of Mary Cathedral. It was, it was run and operated by eight German Jesuits. All eight Jesuit priests survived without any burns, without any radiation, completely unmarked, except one had a, had, was cut by some glass. They had brought 200 doctors and scientists to examine the church, the rectory where they were located in, the grounds, and each one of these Jesuits, not one of them had been touched by radiation. It's a miracle. They asked one of the Jesuit fathers, Hubert Schieffer, and they asked him if they knew if, what contributed to this miracle. And his response was, we were carrying out the Fatima apparitions. In that house, the Holy Rosary was recited every day together. On August 9th, 1945, we have Fat Man, the bomb that was dropped at 11.02 on Nagasaki, Japan. The initial target for that bomb was Kokura, the second was Kyoto, third Nagata, and fourth Nagasaki. Nagasaki was not planned for the dropping of this bomb. There was a heavy cloud coverage, and the only hole in the clouds was directly over the Urakami Valley in Nagasaki, Japan. They had only had enough fuel because of the weight of the bomb. There was only enough fuel to get to Nagasaki and get back home. Otherwise, they would have ran out of gas and the plane would have crashed. So they just found the first hole, dropped it, and it just happened to be over Nagasaki. It was an accident. So here we can see a slide. This is Nagasaki, Japan at approximately 11.01 a.m. on August the 9th. And here we have the Nagasaki at 11.02 a.m. Hopefully you can see this. This black, this where somebody was sitting when the bomb dropped and it completely vaporized them. You can see these ray of lights here. This is the, this is the flash of these posts from the bomb. Okay, the bright flash. The Urakami Valley and the Assumption of Mary Catholic Church, the capital of Christianity in the Orient, is ground zero. The only remains of the, of the Assumption of Mary Church is standing here, and that bomb dropped right there. They did not know that that's where the bomb, the people that dropped the, in the plane of boxcar did not know that's where the bomb was to be dropped. It, just, it was just a random selection. At the time of the bomb being dropped, the Assumption of Mary Catholic Church again was Mother Church of Japan. There were 12,000 Catholics in Japan at the time. They were not in any other parts 
of Japan. All the, all the Christians and Catholics were stationed there in Nagasaki, and 8,000 of them were killed as they were preparing for Mass, uh, praying the Rosary. And you can see here, here is what remains after the bomb dropped. Now this mountain site here, what, what is also a miracle, just on the other side of it is where Maximilian Kolbe uh, had his, monastery, his Franciscan monastery. Every single Franciscan priest that was there survived unharmed, just as the Jesuits survived in Hiroshima. And I'm stating that because, let's go back to the 16th century, it was the Jesuits and the Franciscans that were offered as a sacrifice for the country of Japan. On August 15, 1945, on the Feast of the Assumption of Mary, we have the end of World War II. This is nine days following the dropping of Little Boy on Hiroshima. This would have been a nine-day novena, praying for world peace. This is a picture of the Yalta summit. This is Winston Churchill, Roosevelt, and Stalin. And here is a picture of the um, Potsdam Declaration. The Potsdam Declaration was the, to, trying to end the war, asking, uh, demanding Japan to surrender. And it just so happens that the Fat Man bomb dropped on Nagasaki was named after Churchill. The little boy was named after Roosevelt and Truman. And here we have Stalin represented as the Red Dragon. Remember what we said, Maximilian Kolbe said about the Freemasons, and what Leo XIII said, that the Freemasons were the enemy of the church. It just so happens that, that Truman and Roosevelt were grand masters of Freemasonry. On November the 1st, 1950, on the Feast of All Saints Day, Pope Pius XII, exercising his papal infall infallibility, declares the Assumption of Mary to be the doctrine of faith. On October 16, 1978, the Polish Cardinal Karol Wojtyla is elected as Pope John Paul II, the Apostle of Love. A point I should have made up earlier is uh, Pope Pius XII, his nickname is the Apostle of Peace. Now we have John Paul II as the Apostle of Love. We're running into a pattern here. On May 13, 1981, on the feast of Our Lady of Fatima, there was an assassination attempt on John Paul II. He was shot at point-blank range with a 9mm pistol three times. On March 25th, 1984, on the feast of the Assumption, Pope John Paul II consecrates Russia to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. On July 1989, Sister Lucia, after receiving apparitions from heaven, confirms that the apparitions that heaven had finally accepted the consecration of Russia and the world by Pope John Paul II. Now the question is, did it have any effect? On November 9th, 1989, we had the fall of the Berlin Wall and the falling of the Iron Curtain. October 13, 1990, on the Feast of Our Lady of Fatima, Mikhail Gorbachev, the President of the USSR, is awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. December the 8th, 1991, on the Feast of the Immaculate Conception, we officially have the ending of the Soviet Union. And on December 25th, 1991, on the Feast of the Nativity of Our Savior, Communism is declared illegal in Russia. And quoting from Mikhail Gorbachev, the collapse of the Iron Curtain and the Berlin Wall would not have been possible without Pope John Paul II. In 1992, 